So a couple years ago, I made this. It was a night vision Raspberry Pi camera thing. And my cat actually knocked it off a table and shattered it. But it actually wasn't that good anyway, so today I'm making a new one. So when I made this first one, um, or actually this is the second model, um, I never made a video of it because it got shattered. But when I made this one, I was still using Tinkercad, and I think it shows. But now I've been learning how to use Shaper 3D, and I've made this, so instead of having the infrared floodlight on top, it's going to be inside right here. Um, and I've got everything laid out here, so the infrared light goes here, and the power switch for it goes here. Camera here, and Raspberry Pi here. Instead of having the screen sit in here and being held together with this, I've designed this piece so the screen just slides inside of here and sits on top. And it is a bit bigger. It's actually slightly thinner than the old one. But everything's inside of here now and there's nothing just sitting outside of it like the camera or the floodlight. So the first thing was the floodlight. So I've already taken it apart. It's really easy. You just need something to pry off the front. And there's this piece inside that you need to take all the screws off. And there's these pieces that they kind of look like that from the outside. And you just have to pull all of them out. And once you do that, then everything just falls out of the casing here, like the internals and other parts. Um, and this is the original battery that came with it. It's not flat enough to fit in how I designed this, and I didn't think of that. I cut off the connector and put it um, kind of janky on this flat battery, but now it will fit. It's probably not the best idea to just have this held together with electrical tape, but it works anyway. For this first step, I'm going to actually just glue in this glass or plastic piece in. And this clear piece is just a part of, was it was a part of here. And since it's glued in, you have to push really hard to get it out. And before installing it, I just gave it a quick, quick wipe because it's going to be glued in here. I printed this to have it cut out and it kind of just sits on top of here. So now it needs to be glued on. I'm just using super glue to get it on. And we're just going to drop it in there and push it in to make sure it stays in. And now it's in. So now we put in other stuff. So for this next part, we need to install the Raspberry Pi. So we have to drill some holes first for the screws, but just line up the USB A port like that and push everything in and then mark where the holes are so you can drill the holes. I've got all the holes drilled out and it's time to put in the screws. Also, I don't really have a plan yet, so I'm kind of just figuring out how to put this together. And make sure you have extra screws because I just dropped one and it disappeared into the void. So now the Raspberry Pi is in. We're not going to put the camera in just yet because we still have to drill some holes. Next part is the light. USB-C port just slides in, looks like that. The little bit of the board is exposed, but should be fine. And because how I designed this, um, when you close this up, make sure um, you have this turned up all the way, because you won't be able to adjust this at all because of how it's been designed. This doesn't need any screws. How it's been put in there, it, it holds fine. Next part is this. I designed this button for it. And this is just the, basically the power button for the whole thing, for the light. This just drops in there. And you may have to shave off a little bit of the button. I didn't have to, but it depends how accurate your printer is with dimensions. That's how it looks so far. This we're going to get more secure just without screws, because I kind of screwed up with the that. And first, I'm going to connect this. It just slides in like that, blue part facing up. And to hold it in place so then the button actually clicks, 
I just took this camera piece from the old design and put it on top. So now when this top piece is on correctly, it'll click. So we got a button now. By the way, you might have noticed that I keep using glue. That's because I'm making this pretty much permanent. If you want us to keep using this stuff and don't want to make a permanent device, don't use glue on everything like me. And to make sure that the light still works, we have to test it out before we um, go any further. It works. So I want it on the brightest setting. So there we go. It's turned up all the way now. And that's all I need. And I've already put the battery in, which was kind of a mistake, but it's time to put in the camera. And to install on the Raspberry Pi, the pins face this way on this side. Now the camera's installed. I haven't put the screws yet, but now we gotta test out the Raspberry Pi to make sure everything's connected properly before we finish it. Also, the display connects the same way as the camera. I'm using Raspberry Pi OS Bookworm. Um, and it's the October release and it now has a digital keyboard, so no keyboard is needed for the commands anymore. And I guess not technically not everything is going to be on inside of here because there's still the battery. Um, so there's still that. Now everything's loaded in and it's just loading right now. And as we can see, the camera's working properly. So now it's time to seal it up. So now I'm going to screw in the camera. And now I just gotta hold it in place. So now the whole thing is together. Um, I had to take it apart um, after I put it together because the camera connector, this bit of the connector on the camera came off after I put it together, but it's back together now. Let's make sure everything works again and then we'll be ready. Okay, so now it's been booted up. So opening terminal, you just type in lib camera dash still space dash T space zero and hit enter and there now it's showing a live preview so I'm going to turn off this light just hit this button here everything's lit up around so now it's time to test it out I was able to record a video and looking at the video it's pretty clear for some reason the camera has an issue focusing when it's using the infrared light but once I got in focus you can see the leaves on the ground pretty clearly and also I pointed it up at the trees and stuff and you can see that pre pretty clearly using this. In this infrared light you're able to see things pretty far away at least a lot better than the first version of the Raspberry Pi night vision camera but this seems to be the best version so far. If you need to know what the command is for taking video, it's libcamera-vid-t and then you put how many seconds you want, so 10,000 would be um, 10 seconds, dash zero, the name, dot uh, h264. And so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. So I just bought these. This is the Hollyland Lark M2. I obviously put stickers on it and hopefully my videos were sound a lot better with these. Most of this video was recorded using my phone's microphone, but um, in the future I'll be using these instead. So hopefully this will sound a lot better.